CPAP is continuous positive airway pressure. It's gonna increase the pressure going down into the patient's lungs. So here's what's gonna happen. The alveoli all the way down at the base of the bottom of the lungs is where our oxygen is going to enter the body. So for a lot of patients, let's say for example, they're having heart failure and there's fluid in that alveoli. Oxygen's having a hard time getting into the body, right? The gas exchange is poor. So with CPAP, it's gonna push pressure down and open up those collapsing alveoli and push the oxygen over to actually get into the body. And then also at the same time, get that excess fluid off to go back into circulation and get it out of the lungs. So the primary thing we think about is a patient with pulmonary edema, which is pulmonary, the lungs, edema, I got fluid in my lungs, shouldn't be there. That's CPAP, okay? It also can be used for COPD patients and asthma patients to better open up the lungs, okay? Now, let's say we tried a non-rebreather, but we have poor results. I'm gonna show you in the next little slide here when CPAP should be started. But think about that. Maybe you try a non-rebreather at, uh, at first and damn, we're not getting the SPO2 where we need to be. The patient's probably a candidate for CPAP but there's a few things we gotta look for. Now with CPAP, your patient has to be awake, they have to be conscious, and they have to be able to obey some commands. There's some coaching when we're talking about putting the CPAP mask on. It's a lot of pressure being put down the lungs. It will take the patient a few seconds, of, maybe a few minutes, to get really comfortable with it, and then you'll notice I'm relaxing and getting more comfortable, and ah, the saturation's coming up. It's a beautiful device. Now, here are some things to remember. They need to actually be in respiratory distress. So like I said, we go back to that patient before that had a high respiratory rate, a low SpO2, right? It was like 90. Their respiratory rate was like 26, right? High respiratory rate. Speaking in one or two word sentences. Let's say they were tripoding, right? Signs of distress like accessory muscle use, right? Retractions. This is our patient. So a patient who's awake and can obey commands, who's in respiratory distress, with an elevated respiratory rate and a low SpO2, they're the candidate for CPAP.